Hello again. What I have for you this time is another interesting facility of MySQL, which is copying uh, the contents of one or more tables, or maybe copying the content of the whole of a whole database, copying them for backup purposes and maybe for uh, transfer purposes. Maybe we want to transfer our database to another uh, another uh, 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 server, or maybe you know trans transfer or copy one table from one server to another or from one, one database to another. The way to do that is to uh, save the contents of a table to into a text file or into a CSV comma separated value file or maybe character separated value file copy the content of that table to a text file and then import that text file into our new table as we are going to see. Now, to do that we need to use the select statement or select query from we give our table name and then we need to use into out file these two keywords to tell it that to save the result of the select query into this file here right let me let me name it for example uh, yeah teams table data or something yeah so we need to copy it from you know from the teams table into that file there now if you notice I'm using this directory you know, slash var, slash log, slash mysql because I have read write permissions there. If you try this on your machine, on your Ubuntu machine, you, uh, if you try a different path, you may have uh, 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 permission problems. This is because Ubuntu Linux uses App Armor to protect certain directories and certain applications from reading and writing from and to uh, uh, directories. I'm not going to go through all that now and all the configurations and stuff. I'll just use this because it automatically gives me write, read and write permissions here, so you may as well want to use it. Now, let's dump our data from the Teams table, everything from the Teams table, all the data from there, to this file here, along all this path over there. Now, uh, when I want to log in to my uh, uh, MySQL server, I need to specify a certain option, which is this minus minus local minus in file equals one and that will ele enable me to write data to uh, from a file to a, a table as we will see please remember this that if you want to do write data from uh, a text file to a, a table then we need to have this option when, I, when we use this method of course and then slash u root and slash p to ask me for my password quickly ask me for my password let me just type it in quickly log in and then use my uh, database which is teams db and then show tables right so we remember that the teams table the teams table has this data here select star from teams table and if you notice it has now records so I'm going to copy all this records to this file over here copy that paste it as I explained you know the syntax of this select star from table name into out file da 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 and then it'll tell me the data is there now what I can do is I can actually uh, maybe open maybe open a new terminal a new tab in my terminal and, and, and have a look at that file so let me just use the command less I'm sorry you could be capital case less and I remember it was in slash var slash log slash mysql and the file was called uh, teams table data dot txt yeah? it doesn't like it because it wants my permission so I'll just sudo that and give it my super user password quickly it doesn't like my password, yes, that's why. Let me do that quickly for you. Da -da -da. And now, I, as you can see, I can see the data in my file. Right. One also might want the data to be uh, in a comma separated value, or maybe this is tab separa separated. One, uh, sometimes we want it to be in a comma separated value file. What we can do is we can specify more options to our uh, select into out file statement. And these options are, I can say select star from teams table into out file as before and then specify the path, I'm just naming it teams table data 1 and say fields terminated by comma, so the field will be separated by comma notice I'm using terminated by keywords 
and then enclosed by maybe I want to have the values enclosed inside uh, double quotations and then the lines terminated by the uh, 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 the uh, carriage return line feed so let me just copy and paste that and see what happens if I go back now to my MySQL paste that I can see nine rows were affected and then I go back there with this and then now the, the file is called data one now you know teams table data one now and then I can notice that it's actually comma separated and all the values are enclosed in double quotations that's good stuff so I can actually transfer that file now maybe copy it to uh, copy it to a certain place maybe copy it to another server email it to myself if it's not too big if it's not too big or if it's too big maybe copy it use a my USB uh, stick or use uh, an external drive anyway you find a way of transfer that transferring that to another place and then what we're interested in now how we can get this data now inside a table well if we go back to uh, uh, our, our database we have the clone teams table and we'll use that as an example because it has the, the exactly the same structure as team table as we uh, uh, saw, saw before from previous videos now let me just have a look at the clones a clone teams table and see whether it still has any data so I'll just do select star yes it does I need to empty it do you remember how to empty a table well it's only delete from and then you give a table name and that will delete everything it's telling you there nine rows were affected so if I check the table now it's actually empty it doesn't have any data what I want to do now is I want to import the data from here to this table over here the clone teams table and the command to do that is this load local I'm sorry load load data local in file and I give my path uh, teams table data one now txt into table what table clone teams table Cl I'm sorry clone teams table and then again the fields are terminated by co uh, column by I'm sorry comma by comma and enclosed in double quotes and then the lies lines are terminated by slash r slash n for the uh, character return line feed now remember when I told you in the beginning when we actually uh, uh, logged in to our MySQL server to use that that option this is to enable using this uh, uh, command yes to load data from a local file so I can copy that paste it remember my uh, clone teams table was empty I hit enter uh, does it like it or oh, it doesn't actually see the file yes another problem with the write permissions well, what I can do now is if you can see again here it doesn't actually see the file, so I have a small trick here. Again, I'm not going through, through going to go through all the uh, the the tricks on how to change the configuration. But what I'll do is I'll actually copy that file to my desktop, so I can have more control over it. So copy that to desktop. Yep, it's been copied to my desktop now. And what I can do now is I can give it the fully qualified path just to copy that. Yes, I'm sorry. I know things are too quick here. Here maybe, so I can say now just paste that there so what I've done is I've copied that file to my desktop and that's the fully qual qualified path I've copied the teams table data one dot txt the one that has the comma separated values to my desktop and then I copy and paste the code again and this time it should certainly do the job it's not working for some reason let's have another look again I think it doesn't like my uh, my path so what I'm going to do is rather than use the fully qualified path stay with me please I am going to say tilde as you know uh, and do that yes so tilde it refers to my home directory I've no idea why it doesn't like the fully qualified path though ah yes 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 it's, it's because of that yeah so that's not part of the path yeah so it's home likewise open academic CSS TNNS slash desktop that's not part of the path yeah when I did that here I, I did printed out my print my current directory my current working directory I should have copied only this part yes because that's the, ho the full path to my home directory and then from there I should be able to access my 
uh, uh, my desktop directory. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. I just gave it the tilde, which stands for this, but it does exactly the same job, you know. And you can see now that nine rows were affected. What I can do now is I can do a select star from clone teams table. And what do you expect now? Let's have a look. Ta -da -da -da. All the, the data from that file, from this file here, was copied into my clone team table. That's one method of doing this. In the next video, we'll have a look at another one. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time.